Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Ronnie Show. Um, of course, this is the sports part of our show. <clears throat> so, we're going to be talking about some NHL action, some NBA, some MLB, and then some USHL action. So, we'll start off with NHL. Um, we have five Game 7s taking place out of the eight series. I think they said it was the first time since 1992 that was going to happen, or that happened. But we'll just take a look at last night's games and then maybe preview a little bit of those Game 7s going on here um, this afternoon and later tonight and then Sunday as well. Um, we have the Rangers at the Pen or the Rangers beat the Penguins 5-3. to three. That tied up the series at 3. I saw the game t or the tie-breaking fourth goal. Oh my god, that just reminded me of the last home or the last game of the season for the Musketeers when Tracy um, blocked it with his pet with his um blocker and then it just fell right back behind him into the net that's pretty much what happened here with louis domingue but um and then of course they obviously got the empty net at the end that was just so that was that was that was bad that was bad that was bad and then we had a series end last night um florida beat washington four to three in overtime then I we did watch I did watch this game too Dallas beating the Flames four to two, um, so we'll preview this afternoon and tonight's game sevens. Uh, Boston is at Carolina here in about an hour from now as I'm filming, and then later tonight Tampa Bay is at Toronto on TNT. Then the Kings are at the Oilers. That's later tonight. At least that game won't actually be going on when you're watching this live. But um, yeah. That, so those are those game sevens, and then we have game sevens Sunday or tomorrow after, or excuse me, tomorrow night mainly. Penguins at the Rangers, and then Stars are at the Flames. And then I believe those go into Monday too. No, okay, those okay, those are the five series then. Okay, so yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, NBA games. There were only two games last night. Um, Celtics beating the Bucks 108 to 95, and then the Warriors beating the Grizzlies 110 to 96. So yeah, that Celtics Bucks series. That's going to a game seven. That is Sunday, I believe. Yes. So we'll know the winner of that then. The winner will play Miami, which I don't think they've just. Okay. Yes, they have. Okay. So that will start Tuesday night, and then the West starts Monday night, I think. Or have they not set a date on that? I guess not. All right, whatever. <laughs> um, MLB games. Last night, um, the Reds beat the Pirates 8-2. to The Brewers beat the Marlins 2-1. to um, The Astros beat the Nationals 6-1. to The Tigers beat the Orioles 4-2. to The Mariners beat the Mets 2-1. to uh, the Rays beat the Blue Jays 5 to 2. The Padres beat the Braves 11 to 6. Um, the Red Sox beat the Rangers 7 to 1. The Twins beat the Guardians 12 to 8. The Yankees beat the White Sox 10 to 4. The Giants beat the Cardinals 8 to 2. Man, they we, they had a, some high scoring games last night. The Royals beat the Rockets 14 to 10. Um, the Angels beat the A's 2 to nothing. Diamondbacks beat the or yeah, Diamondbacks beat the Cubs four to three. At least that was like the normal game tonight or last night, like normal scoring. And then the Phillies beat the Dodgers. This time it went ten innings, and it went and it was twelve to ten there. Yeah, just a lot of high scoring games last night. This afternoon, Giants or the Cardinals right now are leading the Giants one to nothing in the bottom of the fourth. Then. About half an hour from now as I'm filming this, we have the Padres at the Braves, and then the Angels are at the A's, the doubleheader here this afternoon, and then we have the Orioles at the Tigers at 3, then the Brewers are at the Marlins at 5, Blue Jays are at the Rays at 5, then at 5.30 we have the Reds at the Pirates, then later tonight we have Red Sox at the Rangers, Astros at the Nationals, Guardians are at the Twins, Yankees are at the White Sox, Mariners are at the Mets, the Cubs are at the Diamondbacks, the Royals are at the Rockies in the second game of the doubleheader between the Angels and the A's, then Phillies are at the Dodgers later tonight. Um... Well, we officially know who our opponent is 
for the finals. As you know, the Musketeers clinched a spot in the final Tuesday night. So now we officially know who we're going to play. Madison, the fifth seed. They had a great start to the season. And things sort of went downhill, but they did pretty much have an average season, I would say. But, um, yeah, now they're in the finals. Um, they're fifth place overall in the East. So, West, or the second seed in the West, will now face the fifth seed in the East. Um, as you can see, they won 8-4 to four Friday, or Thursday night. Which, um, as you can see, five, or the majority of the goals in that whole entire game came in that third period. Boy, that was an exciting one. I didn't watch it, but everyone was, you know, talking about it on social media. Some of the USHL sites that I follow on social media were talking about it. So, it sounded like it was very exciting. Um, pretty much every individual player scored a goal for their team except Reed Pavich. He did get two of those goals within eight minutes of each other in the third period. Scored the first goal in that third period, as you can see. Um, so yeah, Muskegon is officially out. So the first game is of the Clark Cup Finals. Tomorrow afternoon, right here in town, it'll be 4 o'clock your guys' time, but it'll be 3 o'clock our time. Then game two is Monday night at 8 p.m. Your guys' time, it's going to be 7 for us. I know it's late on a Monday, but that's okay. Then we'll be at the watch party Friday night at um, Peace Pizza, like we were last time. Um, and then Saturday night, if we need Saturday night, that'll be there as well. In fact, we might, I was thinking, you know, I made a bet because the Musketeers, they've been taking a fan bus to these places during the playoffs, usually Saturdays, but now that's the finals. They're probably thinking about doing Friday and Saturday, Saturday, you know, if needed, obviously, but, um, yeah, they were thinking about that and, you know, I was thinking, you know, if we made it all the way to the finals, that we should take the bus down to, uh, you know, Madison, Wisconsin. That's all the way in Wisconsin. So, yeah, I was thinking, you know, if it's possible, we can do that. But we have finals next week at school, the 25th, 26th, and 27th. And I know that a lot of the teachers around this time don't like it when people take off, you know, so close to the finals, and they, it just irks them, so, like, I want to go to Wisconsin Friday night for the game, and maybe even broadcast it for you guys there, but I don't know, from some of the reaction from the teachers, from some of my friends, you know, missing out on a day or two, like, it, the reaction has not one bit been good, so I think that if somehow we get game four, I think we should make the trip up to Wisconsin instead of, you know, I just think we should because, you know, but we're already going to be taking a road trip next Saturday on the 28th. So, because we have my cousin's graduation to go to, um... Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. Unless they're just going to take a bus up on that Saturday and make everyone go to the watch party on Friday. Um, then we'll see what happens. It sounds like they are going to do both Friday and Saturday. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, that is pretty much it. Um... I don't know what else to say, except uh, thank you all so much for watching. The season finale of Sale of the Century will be coming to you in about an hour from now, about 50 minutes from now, actually. So, yeah, join us for that, our big Saturday night finale. And then, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye.